Good morning, this is Dan Lucas with HTS Ag and AgVid TV, and we're at Ag Connect 2013. And with me today is Ben Dillon, General Manager for the Tribine Company. And behind us you can see what they brought to the show. Ben, tell us a little bit about it. Well, what you see is uh, the first new generation of harvesters from an architecture standpoint since the 1940s. Uh, combines are still built with big front axle, small front axle, grain tank on top. Uh, the Tribine is a symmetrical vehicle, front axle, rear axle is the same, carries a thousand bushels of grain, unloads at 500 bushel a minute, so you can fill a semi in, in two minutes. So it's a, a new concept prototype that we're here to get input on from custom cutters, farmers, the media, and the industry. So this is the first public showing of the Tribine. Well, that is fantastic. I know there's a lot of media blitz and people interested in this. Um, give me uh, some of the features or characteristics that you have about the way that it unloads. What sets it apart? Well, what sets it apart uh, from an unloading standpoint is the speed. Uh, we're unloading at about nine bushels per second. Most conventional combines here are three to four bushel per second. So we're unloading much faster. And the reason for that is uh, uh, the patience of an operator to sit and unload is two minutes. So you gotta, you gotta have to unload fast, fill a semi or gravity wagons, whatever that farmer is using, quickly. Uh, we believe we can fill two gravity wagons in, in about three minutes and That's, be back harvesting. That is just incredible. Tell me a little bit about the, the sonar adjustment. So as we're pulling up the machine, how does it make this one better than the others? Well, we call it unload assist. And as you pull up to the semi truck or the gravity wagons, you position what you believe is uh, the perfect unloading position. You hit the teach button and it learns and remembers the distance parameters from the head and the unloading auger. So the next time you pull up to the truck, it will guide you. Uh, both visually and audibly. It'll tell you steer left, steer right, uh, to, to position yourself for perfect unloading. So, because at 500 bushel a minute, you don't want to put it on the ground. <laughs> that is for sure. So how does it steer like that? Tell me what makes it different. It has compound steering in that it's articulated plus the rear axle pivots. That can be done either in automatic steering mode where the rear axle follows the front based on the angle of articulation, uh, or it can be done manually by the operator with his left hand and a switch on the steering wheel. And he can crab steer it over to unload. So he can move the rear unloading module uh, left to right, closer to, further away from the, uh, the transport vehicle, truck, gravity wagon, or auger wagon, whatever it is. So basically this machine you know, almost eliminates the need for the auger cart in the field because of its efficiency and ability to pull up to the container and unload so fast. Well, uh, with an eight row head uh, and in 200 bushel corn with a thousand bushel of storage, you know, you can go to over two miles. So the key feature of the tribine is in almost all fields you can make a complete round and dump into a truck or a wagon at the same end of the field always. So since you can do that uh, in many sized operations, it does eliminate a 200 horsepower tractor, an operator, and a grain cart, which saves capital, saves labor, saves diesel fuel, and also reduces compaction because that, that vehicle is not making random passes heavily loaded uh, across the field. In large multi-combine operations, uh, you can still use a, a uh, auger cart because we can unload on the go. The advantage there is it always stays at the truck end of the field. It never has to go to the other end of the field. And one auger cart, one grain cart can service multiple combines. So there's a spectrum of operations that we can affect productivity on. You know, and that's what we really needed in production agriculture today is the you know, the production has increased drastically. The ability to get it out of the field has been really limited by the capacity of the machine and get it to the container sitting out there ready to go down the road. Yes, if, if we have good weather next year, we have 15 billion bushels of corn to move. That's a lot of corn. So logistics and the labor to make it happen, to move the grain, uh, we think is a rich area for productivity increases. Well, tell me about where your production facility is and some of those things. Okay, this is... This is a concept prototype, 
to demonstrate the concept of the of the tribine. Uh, we've been working on increased grain capacity with the combine for 12 years, so you can call me a slow learner and be right. Uh, but this is the fourth generation machine uh, that we've built in in that period of time. Uh, it's here to show the concept, gather input, uh, and what the future brings. I'm not really sure at this point. We don't have a production facility. Uh, I'm a farmer and a family company, so uh, we don't have the resources to build a thousand of these machines a year. So at some point, we'll need a manufacturing partner. Well, fantastic. Well, Ben, we appreciate your time. You know, this is what Ag Connect is all about: is bringing technology and innovation together. This is Dan Lucas with HTS Ag on AgVid.tv.